Okay, in this tutorial, what I want to do today is show you how we download Google Chrome. Um, it's rather simple, but Google Chrome is a internet browser that we can use to browse the web, go to our favorite uh, web page, articles, wherever you'd like to go on the web, but it's uh, done by Google and we recommend it because number one it's the fastest browser out there and it updates on its own. Um, there's other browsers out there that you can use um, if you're a PC user. Um, the one that's automatically installed is Internet Explorer um, and Windows actually just updated to Windows 10 and they use what's called Microsoft Edge now. Um, I personally haven't had the chance to use that. I've heard great things but uh, I'm excited to give that a try as well but uh, I'm actually on a Mac computer and I am using or what comes pre-installed on a Mac computer is Safari so you can see that right here Safari there's also another one that's also a good alternative for Google Chrome and that's Firefox um, that's a good one but again you do have to upload it or update it on your own so um, again that's why we recommend that we download Google Chrome um, also, you're going to be watching this on a YouTube video. Um, if you'd like to go full screen, down in the bottom right hand corner of the YouTube website, they do have the option to go full screen so you can see all the details that I'm doing, um, where I'm going, clicking on, um, and whatnot from there. So feel free to uh, make sure it's a, a full screen on your screen. Um, so, first thing we need to do is again, I'm using a Mac, so it will be a little bit different on a PC, but we need to get to an internet browser. Um, I'm just going to use Firefox as an example um, just so we can get to Google Chrome. Um, and then if you're on a PC or don't have Firefox downloaded, again, you can use Safari if you're on a Mac or uh, Microsoft Edge or Internet Explorer. So here's our internet browser. Again, this is Firefox, but what we're going to do is go up into the address bar and we're going to go to google.com forward slash chrome. So that's google.com forward slash chrome. That's where we need to go. And it will look something like this. And this is the Google Chrome browser or web page you can go to to double check or make sure you're on that specific page is in the address bar if it does say www.google.com forward slash chrome that's where you'd want to be now once we get there once we're we're on this page um, it's pretty pretty simple what we're gonna do is just go ahead and click on the download now um, it's gonna give us the uh, terms and services to make sure we're not doing anything illegal with chrome so we're gonna accept and install and hit OK. Just to this basically is just to accept the files onto the computer. And on uh, Mozilla Firefox or the browser I'm using, there's a little tab here that uh, shows how much longer it's going to take to download. Um, if you're using Safari, that's also up here um, on a Mac or a PC. If you're on Internet Explorer or uh, Microsoft Edge, it will be down here in the middle of your page. Um, so once that's downloaded, um, it will actually just pop up to run. You're going to have, if you're on a PC, it will give you an option to run the files on the computer. So you're going to go ahead and hit run. Mine's automatically going, so we'll let that finish there. Um, but what this will do is make it to where the, the Google Chrome browser is actually able to install onto your computer. Um, a lot of times be aware that um, it will automatically download something onto your desktop so as you as I move the window over you can tell that that's my desktop right there and that's a Google Chrome that's just the installer um, so again on uh, a P or excuse me on a Apple Mac computer we're gonna take the Google Chrome icon and this is what it looks like right here we're gonna drag it into applications now on a PC again you're just going to click that run button and it should automatically just run for you. So we'll go ahead and let this finish here. And then when it opens there's some settings I want you to look into as well. Um, and how they work and how they can benefit us and what we're doing. Um, so we'll let this finish and then hopefully we can uh, open up that Chrome browser and I can show you exactly what it is we need to do um, to 
get our Chrome browser going. So again, once we start using Google Chrome, again, I, I recommend you use it for everything that you do online. It's secure, it's updated. Google updates it for us, so there's not much we have to do um, from there. Now, again, on PC, a lot of times it will install a shortcut onto your desktop, so you can just click on that. On a Mac computer, you do have to go to your applications folder and find it and if you'll notice that's where it is there's Google Chrome right there so we'll click on that and now it's gonna boot up for us and here's just a warning this is my computer just saying hey this was an application downloaded from the internet are you sure you want to open it and that's yes because it's safe it's definitely a safe download that we want to use so we're gonna open and here we are so here is Google Chrome and this is what it looks like um, now again when you first sign in or open Google Chrome it's gonna ask you to sign into a Gmail account what this does is if you have a Gmail account you can save your bookmarks your favorites um, some of your add-ons or extensions into Google and it will be synced over multiple Chrome users so maybe you have multiple devices or multiple computers in your home or maybe you go out of town um, and you need your bookmarks you can sign in to your Google Chrome and it will bring all your bookmarks saves your favorites your add-ons your extensions everything there so I'm not gonna sign in now but if you want to you can you don't have to you can still browse the internet how you want to or if you wish this is your address bar so you can start going to the uh, web pages that you wish or that you would like to go to. Um, again, a lot of uh, users or a lot of PC users that will in install a, uh, a shortcut on your desktop. That's where you would click on to bring up the Google Chrome browser. Um, or you can add it to your menu bar. Again, speaking for PC users, you can add it to your menu bar at the bottom. Now on a Mac computer, again, we have what's called the dock, and that's what shows up here. Um, and you can actually take the Google Chrome icon and drag it where you want it to go and place it there and it will save it. So whenever you come back to your computer or turn it off and on, it will be there and upload there for you. Um, so that's uh, one of the things we want to do um, and make sure that we have. Um, one other setting, and this is an important setting, is if you want to use Google Chrome for everything that you do. So if you click on a link or go to a new web page, it opens it in Google Chrome, no other browser like you know Safari or Internet Explorer or Firefox. You want to set Google Chrome as your default browser. How you do that is you're going to click on these three little dots here up at the right hand corner so we'll click on that and then we're going to go to settings if I remember right yep and here are our settings and if you go down uh, you might have to scroll down a little bit but it's going to say um, default browser now mine is actually set to um, Google Chrome okay so I don't need to change anything but it will give you an option here to set your browser as Google Chrome we want to select that and click on that and make sure that um, your Google Chrome browser is your default one so it works or anytime you click on a link or whatnot it'll bring up the Google Chrome browser and that's it other than that you can go to your address bar and and browse the web Let's just go to maybe ESPN.com just as an example and it shows us there that we can um, uh, browse the web, go to our favorite pages, wherever we'd like to go to uh, do what we need to. So thank you so much. Hopefully that helps. If you have any other questions, let me know. Thank you so much. Goodbye.